Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, hi, I'm Dikshita, welcome to my channel. So in today's video, I'll be sharing my review on these newly launched concealers from K-Beauty. K-Beauty launched these concealers a couple of days back only and as soon as I saw these concealers, like they were dropping the hints on their um, Instagram page that they are launching these concealers and I was waiting for the day they'll launch this concealer and as they have launched it, as I saw in my makeup, these are launched, I quickly grabbed them. It was little difficult for me to choose the correct shade of the concealer this time but um, yeah, I'll talk about that in the future part of the video. So I bought these two shades and I'll be using these two shades in today's video and I'll share my review about this concealer with you guys. So if you're interested, please keep on watching this video. So this is K-Beauty HD Liquid Concealer. It comes in this kind of cardboard packaging. It's very similar to the other products from K-Beauty. It has this K-Beauty logo and this is a color coded packaging and on the back you have all the details mentioned here like any other product of K-Beauty it doesn't have the <clears throat> pricing details like the price is, is not mentioned on the outer packaging so it is enriched with marula and rosehip oil I think the foundation may be same ingredients say, but I'm not exactly sure and um, yeah this one retails for 7.99 rupees and you get 3.8 gram of product and the shelf life of this concealer is three years now about the quantity of this concealer you are only getting 3.8 gram for 7.99 rupees so i think the quantity is little less you generally get like 5 to 6 ml easily in concealers and especially when you are paying 800 rupees i think the quantity you are getting is less but anyway the shade of this um, concealer is mentioned here on the outer packaging and let me show you the inner packaging again a very beautiful inner packaging so this is how it looks like it looks very similar to the uh, foundation let me show you side by side so this is the foundation and this is the concealer it looks exactly same as the foundation just smaller in size so yeah i really like the packaging I mean, kbt k pretty anyway packaging but it gives very nice luxurious feel like it looks very simple and classy and i love um, that thing about this and now uh, one good thing um, about the packaging is that they have mentioned the expiry details on the packaging so here it's mentioned that uh, when this product will expire which is a good thing because the cardboard to up have pass looking any all the time and on the bottom of it uh, the one sticker is pasted where shade mentioned hai. now let's talk about the shade range of this concealer so they have come out with 13 shades i think the shade range is good because generally India में आपको इतने सारे shades किसी concealer में नहीं मिलते हैं. Maximum you get like six seven shades. I don't remember any brand uh, in India especially which has like thirteen shades of uh, concealer. I think pack में है. But उसके uh, I don't think कोई और brand है जिसके अंदर इतने सारे shades मिलते हैं. So I think still the uh, shade range is good. It can be better. I agree totally. Actually they should launch more shades. But um, for this starting, I think 13 shades are good. So the shade names of this concealer is similar to the uh, shade names of foundation. So there are three parts of the shade name. The first part will tell you the uh, number. Then the second part will uh, talk about the undertone like P for pink undertone, N for neutral undertone and Y for yellow undertone. And the last part will talk about the overtones of the concealer like light, medium, deep and this way. So yeah, I think that can be really helpful in picking out your shade based on your undertones and overtones. Now when I was looking for my shade, I was actually looking for the exact shade number which is my K-Beauty foundation ka shade hai. So the shade which I use in K-Beauty foundation is 135 and medium So I was looking for the same shade but sadly that shade is not here they have, launched, they have not launched this particular shade in concealer So I was little disappointed with that because I thought it will be easy for me to choose the shade But um, uski wajay se na, uh, it was little difficult for me to choose the correct shade because I wanted to buy a shade which has neutral undertone. I don't like anything with a high um, yellow undertone so I was looking for a shade with neutral undertone. So there are only two shades in 120-130 range which I thought will be good for me uh, to use as a highlighting concealer or it can match my skin tone. But both the shades uh, have pink undertone so I couldn't buy those. So there were only two options left for me, 100 while light and 110 and light and only one of these had neutral undertones so finally I bought 110 
N lined and I wanted to buy one more shade which I can use as a contouring so for that I bought 185 N deep so yeah I have now these two concealers with me this one is 110 N light and this one is 185 N deep both have neutral undertones so let me give you a swatch of both of these I'll anyway uh, show you the demo of these concealers but so this is the shade 110 N light so this shade is supposed to have neutral undertone but uh, when I look at it I see little bit of pink undertones as well and when I applied it, it was a little bit of pink on my face. Now let me show you the swatch of the other shade 185N Deep. So this is the shade 185N Deep. It's a really good shade for contouring. So if you are of my skin tone, uh, this shade will be a really good shade for contouring. And uh, you can find my shade references in the description box. I'll mention the shades of uh, my shades of foundation, concealer and other brands. So you can see that uh, for reference. So this concealer comes with this kind of tear drop applicator. It's a very nice spongy uh, soft applicator. So it holds a lot of products. So you don't need to dip uh, this applicator again and again in the tube to get the get more product it was a lot of product so you get a lot of product mil jata hai. and uh, it is very soft so kafi soft feel on the face ke so it's very easy to use this now let's see the demo first and then we'll talk more about this concealer so I'm not wearing anything on my face I have already done my eyebrows I'm not wearing uh, any foundation because I wanted to test the coverage of this concealer now the shade which I have uh, doesn't matches with my skin tone so I cannot directly use it I'll have to use the foundation to um, use this concealer I can only use this as a highlighting concealer but still I wanted to test the coverage of this concealer so we'll just uh, use this concealer um, to test the coverage uh, and then I'll apply foundation and then again we will use it as a highlighting concealer but first let's just apply this concealer without any foundation so that we can know how much coverage it provides actually I generally don't apply this much concealer I'm just going with a little bit you know heavy hand with this because I want to test the coverage. Now I'll blend this using this pack concealer brush. I know I look a little weird right now because as I already told you this concealer doesn't match with my skin tone so it's looking very light but anyway on the coverage part of it I think it has provided a good coverage I won't say it's a full coverage concealer like it doesn't provide you full coverage but a good coverage it has provided I can see so let's apply one more layer I'll only apply one more layer on this side Not much. I'm applying less this time. So as you can see, definitely with two layers, you get better coverage. Like on this side, I've applied only one layer and on this side, I've applied two layers of this concealer and you can see the difference in the coverage. So yeah, I think you can easily build up the coverage with this concealer. So I'm back and the foundation I'm wearing on my face is also from K-Beauty, their hydrating foundation. I have this foundation in the shade 135 and medium. Now let's test the concealer. So I'm using this shade uh, 100, 110 light. Now I'll use this uh, as a highlighting concealer. So I'll apply this on the areas which I want to highlight. So I'll use this spa concealer brush only to blend this concealer.
so i think it has highlighted this area pretty well and as i told you earlier as well it doesn't provide full coverage so i want a little bit like i'm applying little bit here because i think i need little bit more coverage there meaning more highlighting effect but uh, it's very easy to blend this concealer the consistency is really good and it's very easy to blend now let's use the other shade i have 185 nd i'll use this uh, for contouring so i'm applying this much amount only because i don't know ki kitna zyada pigmented hoga ye let's blend this much and then i'll apply on the rest of the areas to blend this i'm using this brush from pack 272 So this is how it looks like, and you can clearly see the difference, right? This shade is actually the perfect shade for me for contouring, and it was very easy to blend. Pigmentation भी काफी अच्छी है. You saw right? I applied very less, but still I got very good pigmentation here, and it is looking really nice. I think I applied less on this side, so let's apply a little bit more. By the way, I applied on both the side together, and I blended this first. But तब तक ये set नहीं हुआ था, so you have enough time to blend this concealer. So yeah, this is how my face looks like. I'm really liking this contouring shade of this concealer on my face. काफी अच्छी dimension provide कर दी इस concealer ने. It was very easy to blend and it is looking very natural and I'm loving that part of this concealer. So yeah, I'll complete rest of my makeup off camera and come back and then uh, I'll give you my final review about this concealer. So guys, I'm back with full face of makeup. Now let's quickly discuss uh, what I think about this concealer. What are my final thoughts about this concealer? So I really like these concealers, guys. The consistency of this concealer is really good. It's very creamy and it has a very nice thick consistency. बहुत ज़्यादा liquidy नहीं है. एक nice thick creamy consistency है इस concealer की. And on the coverage part, it provides good coverage. Like it's a medium to buildable coverage concealer. It won't provide you full coverage like you saw in the demo. I applied first layer so it didn't give me much coverage but when i applied uh, the second layer um, i could build up the coverage with the second layer and it provided me better coverage but still it didn't provide me full coverage so coverage wise it's medium to buildable coverage and the pigmentation is also good like when i used this shade the darker shade which i used as a contouring uh, it gave me a really good color on the face kafi achhi pigmentation thi darker color ki so obviously darker colors have better color payoff and uh, it was very easy to work with this concealer it was very easy to blend like i used this shade as a highlighting concealer so it provided me really nice highlighting effect on the face and when i used this one it provided really good dimension to the face and i was actually more happy with this contouring shade बिकॉज मुझे जो फिनिश uh, मिली इसके साथ वो मुझे काफ़ी अच्छी लगी लाइक प्रोवाइड वेरी नाइस नेचुरल फिनिश नाउ अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट दिस कंसीलर इज अ हाइड्रेटिंग कंसीलर इफ यू हैव ड्राई अंडर आइज इट वोंट मेक देम यू नो मोर ड्राई जनरली जो मैट कंसीलर्स होते हैं वो आपके स्किन को और ज़्यादा ड्राई कर देते हैं बट दैट डजन हैपन विथ दिस कंसीलर आई थिंक द फॉर्मूला ऑफ दिस कंसीलर इज वेरी मच सिमिलर टू देयर फाउंडेशन लाइक दिस इज ऑल्सो hydrating and i feel these uh, concealers are also very hydrating under the eyes my under eyes are not feeling dry now about the creasing part it was creasing little bit before i set it uh, with a powder but after setting it with a powder i don't see it is uh, creasing and uh, abhi tak to it is not settling into my fine lines as well but before i uh, set it with a powder i could see that it was settling in my fine lines so obviously you'll have to set a concealer Uh, with the powder so that it does increase so that uh, that you will have to do with this particular concealer as well but otherwise i think it's a very good formula it's a very good concealer very hydrating very easy to work with 
easy to blend very nice creamy consistency you get with this concealer so i think uh, overall it's a good concealer and i didn't find anything bad uh, with this concealer so yeah overall i think it's a very good concealer and uh, i'm really happy with the way it performs nowadays i'm not finding good drugstore concealers but i was very happy with this launch of k beauty k beauty ki mostly mujhe sari products kafi pasand hai matlab ab tak jo bhi products maine launch kiye hain most of the products i really like and uh, now one more product has been added to that list so yeah i think that's all for today's video i hope you liked this video and it was helpful for you if you did please like and share this video also please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done already and don't forget to press the notification bell so that you will be notified for my future uploads thank you so much guys for watching this video i'll see you in my next one till then take care bye